Well, sense of relief, Lewis, a game full yeah. of incidents. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, it's nice to get across the line finally. You, you enjoy those sometimes a bit more, those, those dogged, hard-fought ones. And although we played so well last week, you know, we probably didn't put our best foot forward this week, but just the four points for us is massive, huge. It was a pretty messy, ugly first half in particular, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we sort of said that at half-time, you know, we'd look at each other. No one was really that tired. It was a bit like, what, what the hell had gone on there? So we knew we'd come out, sort of refocus, and if we stuck to our systems, we, we'd get the win eventually. And you had to work hard because you were caught a bit cold at the start. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we, we tend to do that, don't we, sometimes? But, um, you know, testament to the boys, we managed to get our heads around it, switch back on, and I didn't really feel like we were under pressure, so, you know, from that, from that point. Our D, you know, we back our D all the time. If we stop doing these soft tries, then our D would be looking really good. Billy's try was very important to get you back into the game just before half time. Yes, yeah, yeah, crucial to go in, you know, almost look at that sort of, you know, that first half, put it aside and, and move on. As a captain, any concerns about those yellow cards in the second half? Uh, they're, they're tough yellow cards, aren't they? You know, we had a good discussion with, with Luke Pierce at the end there, and because of what's going on in rugby at the moment, there's that, you know, the scrutiny's on it. Um, it is what it is. I, I had the argument that I don't think Geordie can do much more there. He has to protect himself as a tackler, so he's trying to move his head out of the way. His legs are at 90 degrees. Um, like you, you know, Luke doesn't want to give cards. It's, you know, no ref wants to give cards. So because of the scrutiny on the game at the minute, it probably has to, it has to be. Um, you know, we, we work on our, on our top tackles especially, so hopefully no more for us. And that one of the end, Santiago Perez made two interception tries a couple of weeks ago. He might have been on for one minute. Well, that's it. He probably, you know, you, you don't go for him, you don't get him. He, we, we back him to go for him and, you know, he flicks it up and catches it and runs it in. And, and we get five points. Everyone's, you know, talking at that rather than rather than the yellow card. And for you as the captain, good to see the youngsters coming in. George Barton having an impact. Jack Clement back too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to see those boys. You know, they've been working so hard in training. You know, it's very difficult when the team's lost as many games as we have in, in a row and you're not getting your, your run outs, you're not getting your goes and... Those boys stepped up today and thought, thought they both came on and added loads. And, you know, Skiv speaks about those young boys, George Barton especially. He, he's a great talent and, and hopefully he'll kick on and, you know, there's plenty, plenty of time for him to do what he can do. And thoughts about next week if he's up the road to Wasps? Hey, that's, that's next week. We'll, we'll look at our Monday. We'll, we'll enjoy this win now and as much as we can due to, due to COVID. Obviously, it's not, not the normal thing you can do. But, um, yeah, we'll enjoy this and come in Monday and it'll be a, a lot better Sunday tomorrow.